Yoshiko, also known as Little Mama, and Grace. We're interviewing Lori Light from Stress Free Kids, who I like to call the Sweet Dreams Fairy. Oh, thank you. And you ha- and Lori Light has wonderful books and CDs to help children relax, children's teens, and adults to be stress free, which we are so jazzed about. Yes. Now, what inspired you to start Stress-Free Kids? Grace, I was inspired to to start Stress-Free Kids when I used to take two hours every single night to put my son to sleep. And I was stressed out, my family was stressed out, my daughter was having night terrors, and I needed to do something about it. So I learned to do some very simple relaxation techniques that had an immediate effect on me. And one of them is something that I happen to know you two girls love to do, and it's breathing. Yes. <laughs> so let's start with taking a deep breath. Everybody put your hands on your belly, and we'll breathe in through our nose and let the air out through our mouth and make a nice ah uh, sound. So breathe in. And ah. Uh. Oh, that's a, that is such a sweet feeling. Yeah. I love, I have learned to start doing that at the beginning of my interviews because it helps me to be more relaxed with, with the process. So to get back to the story, I learned to do that technique for myself and it worked so well that one night while I was lying next to my son desperately trying to get him to fall asleep, I wondered what would happen if I could get my son to use the same technique that was working so well for me. And I, the way that I did it was I began to create a story so that he wanted to listen to my story and follow along, and we incorporated the this, this stress management technique, and he copied the characters in the story, and he actually started breathing. And he was only like five years old, and he had his hands on his belly, and he was doing that little breathing, and he fell asleep. Well, that's amazing. What story was most fun to write, do you think? I would, well, that story is special to me because it was my first story, and it was really an aha moment, and it was called The Boy and the Bear, and I have since done another story with breathing called Sea Otter Cove. But I think that my most fun story might be Angry Octopus. And the reason is, um, I was on vacation with my children, and we were snorkeling, and they found an octopus, tiny little octopus, and we were admiring the octopus, and he became visibly upset and scared and what struck me as angry, and he shot his ink out, and he took off. And when he did that, I couldn't help but think, wow, isn't that kind of like a a kid that loses their temper. Mm -hmm. And so I started to create a story based on the octopus, and and I related it to a kid losing their temper, getting angry, Mm -hmm. and releasing the ink, and then learning to use progressive muscular relaxation, another Mm -hmm. relaxation technique, Mm -hmm. to calm down. So that was really fun for me. That's cool. And we like the imagery, isn't that? I like the illustration of that book. Oh, thank you. It was very difficult to to do, actually, because when I created the story, I did it knowing that I would have it on my Indigo Ocean Dream CD, Mm -hmm. but I didn't really know at the time that I would be uh, turning it into a hardcover book and have illustrations. Mm -hmm. So when we got to that point, you know, it was actually very challenging for my artist uh, and I to figure out ways to show um, the different parts of the body for the octopus mm-hmm. and him using the muscular relaxation technique. So it was very challenging, but it was very fun, and I think it was very worthwhile. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful <clears throat> the imagery. The kids can see immediately with that ink, mm-hmm. and we can all relate to that tension and getting and letting it go. Isn't that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Grace, really, when I first read that to you, I remember it had a real positive effect. Yes. How many books and CDs do you have exactly? I actually have eight books, and I have five CDs. Three are specifically for children, Mm -hmm. and I call it my Indigo Dreams series. Mm -hmm. And then I have one for teenagers called Indigo Teen Dreams and one for adults, which is Indigo Dreams Adult Relaxation. So what I started out to do was work with children, but... 
moms and dads, they started writing me and saying, you know, we love what you're doing. We love those techniques. Can you create a CD that can help us as the parents? So I did. And then, of course, I started getting lots and lots of requests for helping teenagers uh, because I think teenagers are often an overlooked group. Mm -hmm. So I was very pleased to be able to come up with something that can help teenagers, not only with relaxation, but also for self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So all of my CDs do actually also address the issue of self-esteem, and we use positive statements for that to try to, to believe in yourself and to say positive things to yourself. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what sorts of things does stress-free kids help you with? Stress-free kids is actually my greatest teacher because I happen to be a, a stressful kind of person. Um People just think that because I write these books that I must be the most calm person in the world. But, you know, Grace, truth be told, I constantly have to remind myself to use my techniques to manage my stress. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what I like about myself is that I'm, I'm the real deal. Mm -hmm. um, I have struggled with stress and anxiety. My children have struggled. And what I do works, and I know it works, because it works on me mm -hmm. and it works on my family. So I constantly have to remind myself to use my, my techniques. Um, even when I went on national television on Shark Tank, you can see that I, I actually use my techniques. Mm -hmm. I actually, that was my question that we can just look at how you, we loved seeing you take those breaths because you are the real deal and that's why Grace and I, are so honored, and I, I have to mention a woman who is very famous for showing who she really is, and that's Oprah. You know, when she's battling her weight, and um, all of her, she says that her show is her therapy because she can share what she's going through. And then they have a saying that uh, I guess it was Lily Tomlin who said, "We're all in this together, but we we have to do it alone." Yes, and we, and I love the saying, "We often teach what we most need to learn." Mm -hmm. And I love that because, um, you know, some people receive criticism. I even receive criticism for looking nervous on national television with, you know, hot camera lights on me and five strangers staring at me and asking them for money. And I got some criticism. How could you be nervous? Well, that's real life. That was a nerve-wracking situation. But what I'm so proud of is that they... In the editing, they allowed me to be seen taking those breaths. Because how many times have you seen somebody going on television and doing breathing before they speak? Do you ever see that? Mm -hmm. you, they never show you that. So I was so honored that they showed me doing that. They showed me shaking my hands, which was a visualization of shaking the stress out of my body. And it, it, I was able to model what I teach, mm -hmm. and I hope that children were able to see me doing that and realize, wow, I yeah. really can use those techniques in real life, in real situations. Yeah. So, on Shark Tank, um, what inspired you to go on Shark Tank? I thought that it would be an excellent platform for me to bring attention to the fact that kids today are really stressed out and that kids can be helped with stress and a platform for my stories um, to get the word out there. I mean, do you know that that um, stress or anxiety disorders are the number one mental health disorder facing children today? Wow. Today. I mean, there's more children, 13 out of 100 children have anxiety disorders. And then there are many, many more that are not even diagnosed. So you know how autism is, is such a big subject. There's so many children, unfortunately, with autism. The number for anxiety disorders is even 